Hey guys, welcome, welcome to another programming blog. Even though it's been a long, long time, I think the last programming blog I did was in was when I was in college, and that was like a couple of months ago. It's a little bit over six months ago. So it's been a while actually. So I decided to do one, and basically I wanted to show you guys what I was I've been doing lately. I'm still programming, still on my own time, but not as much as I won't, not as much though, because I'm working. And there's times I'm working really late, so I don't have time sometimes. But when I do, I'm I'm programming on my own side. So I wanted to show you guys what I've been up to lately, and and see that. So I'll show you what I've been up to lately. And it's lagging a little bit. Oh, and I know why. This is not what I wanted to show you guys just yet. Hold on. Then where is let me put that as projects. I'll show you guys the other one in a bit. I want to show you this guys first. So basically, for those of you guys know who this is, then cool. And for those of you guys who don't know what this is, why is this like a heart shape and a circle here and I don't know like lightning going out or whatever? It's basically, this is the Mandelbrot pretty cool actually I did this in college in one of my classes but but I, it was doing it in CPU threads and now in my own time now that I graduated now in my own time decided to do this a little bit further and use CUDA I used CUDA in, in college actually and learned it there but a couple of weeks ago I decided to use it on on a Mandelbrot so I brought it I brought the Mandelbrot into my engine and once I was able to render it I decided to use CUDA on it here and that's what I did. And for those of you guys who don't know what CUDA is, it's basically using GPU power to make things so much faster. So basically, let's say you're doing a for, it's basically like a for loop if you use it correctly. And let's say you have like, you're looping to uh, like vertices and it has like 90,000 vertices. If you do, if you do the calculations in CUDA and the GPU, you can create like well, what number of vertices? Said ten thousand, right? Or ninety thousand? You could create ninety thousand threads, and it will basically go through all those threads at the same time. Either they go out at the same time, or it goes super really fast. Either one of those two. I'm pretty sure is the first one, but I may be wrong. But it, yeah, it doesn't one. It doesn't either one go, or it doesn't really super fast. So it's so much powerful than CPU, and it does a lot of things a lot quicker. You know. So that's what I did here and before. So now I can actually just go in here and zoom in. Right now I'm using the floating point precision. So I can only go so deep and then uh, I'll change it to double, which is the farthest I can go. But it's pretty cool. I like the, all the colors. You got, I actually can change the colors. It gets pretty amazing sometimes. Uh, when going in here, pretty cool. All the colors, not cool colors, but it's pretty cool. See, it's eventually floating point will suck and precision will not make you will make things terrible. So like pixelated, like right now, as you can see. Hopefully it doesn't lag in my when I'm rendering this. But anyways, now I change it to a double precision, which you can see goes back to normal since I have more precision in in there. But I can only go to double right now because. After double, it involves going to even deeper in pro low low level programming, which is not my thing, and I don't really like it. Basically, it's basically just messing with the mantis and all that, making more precision, more precision. So, let's go in this section actually. So wherever the mouse my mouse is is where it's gonna zoom in. It's pretty cool. I can only go so deeper though, which is kind of lame. Yeah, you can see everything. That's basically what a Mandalorian bot is. A lot of repetition going on. But eventually, it comes. It's gonna start coming into a point where it starts getting pixelated because I can only go so far with double. Should be getting pixelated soon. Yeah, my head's are turned off, so hopefully I'm still recording. Anyways, eventually starts gonna start getting pixelated, and. 
as you can see. So I can only go so far. So yeah, I really love to go even deeper, but I can't. <laughs> I've seen videos of people going even so much. It's really super deep, and yeah, that just that did not sound correct. Apologize for those dirty money people out there. <laughs> but anyways, anyway, anyway. Pretty cool. I just wanted to show you guys and what I've been doing lately. It took me a while to get the man brought going on. But the other thing I was going to show you was the little section that you saw earlier. And I've already shown you guys this. It's basically a colada animation. But before, I was just using CPU power. But now, since I mentioned CUDA, I decided to use the... Colada in CUDA and basically I could render so much more enemies or enemies more animation going on So right now I have like 30 of them going on in here right now It's pretty cool. I probably should have put more. I should have texture mapped all these guys I have, I have the textures actually It's pretty cool. I mean, yeah, I think I kept it like that because of the Or the texture of the specular lighting. It's pretty cool. Right now it starts getting super laggy though. Well, it's not really super popular because I'm rendering at the same time. But right now it's, there's 30 of them. Right now there's 30 of them. And before, before I was using CUDA, I was actually only able to do like, like five or ten, because I mean, because these guys have like, yeah, they have like a little bit over 90,000 vertices, which is crazy. I mean, I don't even know if that's a lot or not for games. I know there's a limit that you need, but these guys have 90, a little bit over 90,000 for you guys. If I used it, when you guys trying to do Colada, you guys use this guy. You can be using this guy if you're going to use Colada. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. It looks like a little army marching. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it and it's pretty amazing. I actually had it with the other guy. Let me see. But the other guy's a little bit really small from Amnesia. So I'm uh not sure if there's something in between that, like underscore or whatever. The thing is the the other guy's a little bit smaller. Yeah, you see that? He's they're so much smaller though. <laughs> Hold on, let me do all of them because it's kind of creepy like that. Because earlier I was just used, used doing this to, to do to render both of them at the same to uh, I can't even talk today. It's a little bit slower though, but I mean not not laggy and slower, but it's like their animation sucks. It's kind of slow. But yeah, there's thirty of them. There's thirty. There's thirty grunts for amnesia right now. Just need to hide. It's amazing. It'd be pretty cool. You had these many in in, in amnesia. Imagine for you guys who play amnesia. All these guys in there. Um, I actually in my in one of my demos that I used this. Where towards the end of the video, you see a lot of this grunts going towards the camera or towards me. That was actually a little bit lagging on me because I wasn't using CUDA at the time. But I'm pretty sure I can use CUDA now. And render all these guys coming towards me now. But yes, I don't want to make this video a little bit more boring for you guys, so I apologize. I I just wanted to show you guys CUDA a little bit and what what it does. I like it's very smooth, aren't they? Look at that. I like the normals. It's pretty super smooth. But anyways, I just wanted to show you guys with the power of CUDA. I wish I still had the section of code I was looping through just using CPU power, but I'm, I actually don't have it. I had to, I deleted it earlier, but oh well. So yeah, there we go. That's what I've been doing lately, guys. Hello? Okay, there we go. Yeah, my freaking headset dies on me. When I was not really listening to anything, my headset decides to turn off. So, but anyways, anyway, so I hope you guys... What was I talking about? I was just ending it, right? Um, so yeah, so I wanted to show you guys the power of CUDA and how it goes. And I don't want to make this video way too long than it should be, so... 
Um, I'm about to be ending it. I just want to show you guys. I want to tell you guys one thing. I'm thinking of making um. Uh, making a game, and while not with you guys, but I'm be making a programming game, and I'm be recording myself, and I'm be putting it online, so you guys can see the process of what the heck's going to, get, or what I'm doing, and maybe you guys can throw in some ideas in the comments, whatever, you, what do you want to see in there? So basically, I'm gonna tell you the idea that I have right now. It's not gonna be a big thing because I just updated my engine and I haven't really made it like a complete game in this engine. So. And I just updated it, not tremendously, but a lot lately. So I want to test that out. And by testing out, it's by making a game, you know. So basically, let me see. Honey brushes. I mean, use paint for a while, so I apologize for that, guys. Basically, let's pretend this is my camera. I mean, my, my game window. It's not exactly how it should look like, but anyways. And basically, it's going to be like a maze. Going on here, not sure how, how complete of a maze it's gonna be yet. I was thinking of making it like a really dark maze, a 2D top view, and it's gonna be like really dark, like amnesia style kind of thing. I don't know why I keep saying amnesia all the time, but I I, I really like dark games for some reason now. <laughs> I blame you guys for making me play those games. Well, you guys didn't really make me, but but anyways. It's gonna be like a little dark game where you can have sections where eventually it's gonna lead to to traps where there's gonna be enemies going on here. Enemies can have AI going through all this maze. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be using the oh yeah, I will be using the A star pathfinding that I use in my tutorial, so you guys can see that even further when I'm building it. And it's gonna be probably be a little bit more updated, so I don't know. But anyways, so yeah, that's what I wanted to do. See, all this thing is going to be super dark. And the only light you have, maybe I'll put some lights, point lights around the map here and there. But point light is that the player or the player they can be controlling is going to have like, um, he's going to be holding like a lantern or some type, some sort of light that's going to be illuminating a certain radius around him. And which he's going to go through all the maze. I'm not sure if you could attack or you just have to hide. I don't know yet. But you you will your your light is gonna be diminished until you pick up something, I guess. I'm not sure what exactly I wanna do yet. I don't know the entire idea of this just yet till next week. Hopefully next week I'll be recording and start programming already. But basically I just wanna give you like a broad idea right now and show you what I'm gonna be doing lately. So hopefully next week I'll have something. One thing I need to do research is when, because right now, if I have a guy, and let's pretend this is a wall here, right? If I have a guy that's going to be illuminating a certain radius light ar around him, the light's going to go through a, through the other side of the wall, which should not be happening. And I need to do a little bit of research on how to block it from not, from not going to the opposite side when it illuminates. So once I figure that out I'll start I'll start programming guys so so yeah I'll, just, I'll end the video now and hopefully when I start programming this you guys can bring in some ideas what you guys want to see there or whatever and I don't know sure how you, you guys want to follow me I'm not sure how that's gonna go but anyways I'll end it right now I want to keep this too long and I'll see you guys next time so signing out guys thanks for watching